Here we go. Just the same way we start every video. I'm gonna wipe, wipe, wipe. I've been using microfiber cloths for a long time. I get them at Costco and uh, they work really well. I'm gonna try not to talk too much, um, but if you have any questions, uh, you know where to put them and I'll try my best to get to all of them. But I'm just gonna try not to blabber on too much so you can kind of see what I'm doing and hopefully learn something, my friends. Love you very much. Glad you're here. A little MacGyvering that we gotta do there, but it works. I already put sealer on this. I put sealer with the Slim Combat 1.3. Really important to blow the whole entire car out, really. Okay. This is an anti-static gun, so what it's doing is removing all the static that's attracting the dust to the panel. I got my wet bed. I mix my wet bed like three to one, mostly. And I put it on with a 1.2. Because I want to put it on nice and thin, but at the same time, have it like covered. So, almost like clear coat, really. Almost like clear coat. And I put it on a 1.2 because I don't want any texture. I want it to be as smooth as possible. Put on there, that's the V primer, but uh, you can see hopefully. Okay, that's what you want. You want the you want a nice, nice, nice. This is PPG Envirobase, and this is activated. So if you saw my last video, I'm doing the same thing. I'm doing 16 psi, a little bit close. And I'm putting it on like this. One even coat. In here, we're only going to do one coat. So we're going to do kind of a, a little bit of a heavy coat. Make sure we get covered. It goes me not trying to talk so much. I'm sorry. But hopefully it helps. So now I put the pressure up to 27. And now I go a little bit slower, a little bit farther. But what I want to achieve is a nice, 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 even close. Give it up, 
Same thing over here. Just move, just move, just move, right? Move, 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 fast. Don't linger. Right, and then we go 37. And because of that blender, it's gonna help to blend it out. We're gonna spray this way. So we don't wanna put baits in here. Beautiful. And then here, we're gonna just open it up, check it out, boom. Check out what I'm gonna do, ready? 27 PSI. We're not gonna do a 16 because we don't need coverage here. Okay, are you watching? Are you watching? Let go of the trigger. Okay. Just a little circle there, okay? I'm gonna put the blowers on for nine minutes, let this dry, and then put on the mid coat. And really, that's it. Well, let's see. Whoa, whoa. I'm not gonna say anything yet. All right. See ya. Right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing because this is gonna need a little extra pearl, right? Um, I'm gonna do probably two coats, let it flash off, and then another coat. But we'll see how it looks. Usually, with this formula, it's one light coat, another light coat, and it's done. But this one seems a little yellower. So. Seven. Flash off, then we'll put one more coat and then it'll be done. All right, about five minutes of blowing, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm gonna put one more coat and then we'll be ready to go, ready to clear. I'm only gonna put the coat on the outside, not so much on the inside. But that blended out fine with that smooth. One of the biggest things that I found lately to getting a good paint job, clean paint job, is to have the boost temperature as slow as you can. 
okay? So I have it right now at 70. Once it gets hot outside, I'm not gonna be able to have it at 70, but I'm gonna put the temperature as low as I possibly can because hotter does not equal faster, okay? That's just what I found in my experience, you know, and uh, yeah. Let's go, let's put another coat on and uh, we can hammer on the clear. I'm gonna keep it at 27 PSI and I'm just gonna put an even coat. Okay, put them in the inside. Because on the inside they don't really have much soil. So this one coat will be fine. And I'm not going to put a uh, control coat on this, it doesn't need it. We don't need it to be lighter, so. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to make some clear. I'm going to use EC530 for this. Oh, I'm going to show you how I do a little bit of fast cleaning here. Just take that off. Some water cleaner. Bumpity bump 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 bump. Rinse that out. Very quickly. That way when you go and clean it in your gun wash, you don't destroy your gun wash, right? You got nice clean, nice, 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 nice. Nice clean uh, solvent to work with. Lower the pressure. Pull the trigger. Boom. So your gun's basically clean inside. Now you just gotta rinse it off. Okay, here we go. EC530, again. Ooh. Temperature, 72. Carbonio, Evo, 1.2. Uh, trigger, all the way open. So what I do is I pull the trigger, right? When there's nothing in there, I pull the trigger and then dial this in until I hit my finger. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Fan. Right, that's all the way open. So pretty much all the way open. And like one turn in. Uh, what else, that's it. Pull the trigger and go baby. Oh, and have fun. First go. A little bit faster. A little bit closer, but I want to put it on very nice and even. The reason why I'm bending my head like that is because when you're clear coating a white car, it helps to try to catch one of those lights on the panel. Okay? If that helps, go some go. Alright, I'm gonna shut up. And you just watch the way that I'm spraying. I'm gonna keep this close. After I'm done, then I'll go and finish it around. minutes and I makes too much clear 10 minutes All right
Beauty. So second coat, just pay attention to how I spray it. I become, become a little bit slower. I get a little bit farther. it. Perfect. And here, I'm going to start on the jam. So, I don't want to do the outside and then do the jam and then you get overspray, dry spray kind of like inside, right? So you want to, uh, outside, I mean. So we're going to do that. Okay. So we're gonna close it again. Do this. that up there. Okay. I'm gonna do here. Beauty, now, gonna open this up, clear in here, then peel this off, whoops, blender, blend it, and send it, that's it baby. Any questions? Comment below. But it turned out good. I'm happy with it. I'm gonna bake this. Very nice. Okay. I'm gonna bake it at 150 for half an hour. Okay. Love you. Take care. On to the next one.